UT physicians would like to welcome you to our patient self-assessment video series where today we will be reviewing the shoulder. To begin, please point with one finger to the most painful spot on your shoulder. Next, place your hand on your collarbone and walk your fingers along the bone towards the outside of your shoulder. Along the way, feel for any pain, swelling, or differences from the other side. Once you get to the outermost part of your shoulder, press downwards and note any pain or discomfort. Then walk your fingers around the front, side, and back of your shoulder, reporting any tenderness you may find. Next, please follow along with the motions demonstrated in this video. If you have limitations in your motion, please pay attention to whether you are limited by pain, weakness, or stiffness in the shoulder. Also, report any clicking, popping, or clunking you may feel as you go through these motions. When reaching behind your back, please use the non-painful arm first. Go behind your back and try to slide up along your spine as high as you can. Next, do the same thing with your symptomatic side. In this part of the assessment, please use a stick, broom, or cane to perform the following motions. Place the stick in the palm of your symptomatic arm to more adequately assist your motion. At the end ranges of all motions, please use a stick to add a little bit of pressure at the end. Please report if the motions using the stick felt different than what you previously performed without using the stick. This part of the demonstration will help assess the muscles of your shoulder. Start by finding an open doorway in your home and stepping just inside the entryway. Bend your elbow to 90 degrees, keeping your elbow by your side. Push your elbow directly outward into the doorframe. Then, take a small step backwards to where your wrist is even with the doorframe. Press outward into the door frame with your wrist, but make sure to keep your elbow by your side. Next, turn sideways facing the doorway and put the inside of your wrist on the door frame as shown. Push inwards on your wrist, again keeping your elbow by your side. Now, approach the doorway as shown, aligning the front of your shoulder along the edge of the doorway. Reach your hand behind and place on the small of your back. Try to lift your hand directly off of your back. Now make a fist with your hand in a neutral position as shown and approach the doorway. Push upwards into the doorway, making sure to keep your elbow straight. Next, turn your palm downward and again push upwards into the doorway. This next series of tests will help to identify specific deficits you may have in the shoulder. First, approach the doorframe and lift your arm to 90 degrees as shown. Place the palm of your hand on the doorframe and lean forward. Pay special attention to how secure or stable the arm feels when leaning forward versus standing at rest. For this test, please grab your stick, cane, or broom and place it under your armpit on your painful side. Then. Bend your elbow so that the stick rests on top of your wrist as shown. With your other arm, press the stick downwards. Be careful not to press too hard if you experience pain during this test. For this test, please find a wall and lean your back against it. Then grab your elbow of your painful shoulder with your non-painful arm. With your back against the wall, pull your painful arm across your body as shown. For this test, please find a wall and turn to face it. Place the hand of your painful shoulder on the wall as shown. Next, lean forward into the wall slightly and step from side to side. Once back at the center, try and push your chest towards the wall while keeping your elbow straight.
This completes the shoulder self-assessment. Thank you for your participation and allowing us to be a part of your healthcare journey. The testing you performed will help your healthcare provider determine an accurate diagnosis and prescribe appropriate treatment to get you feeling better as quickly as possible.